little circle on the floor. In a circle. It's also in G. Probably looks like there is an A7 and a D7 thrown in at some point.
When you're 70 and you hear they're going to pull the plug, it, it isn't um, a necessarily a positive thing, right? That is cool. about every three, 30 years that that means. Yeah. It's been a while since we did sing together, it's just true. Yeah, it's 30 years since All right, we're... Well, let's, let's put a little blues down here, huh? that came up to hear this today. Appreciate and the name that. of the next song is Brain Cloudy Blues, so... <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate beyond all measures. Okay. Get on your knees and pray to me. Turn me by hand. 
okay. He's also in G. back. 
that's strong. Load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Neither don't you come because I can't come. Enjoy yourself. 
the time You don't know how to laugh They'll think of something funny When they write your epitaph
snowy night and you as long as I live. I wake up each morning and feel beside me. I wake up each morning so happy to be. You want to be free as you want to be. I can find a place in anything you desire. If you were a rainbow, I'd love all your colors. I'd be an all. As long as I live, I'd wake up each morning and feel you beside me. I'd wake up each morning so happy to give. What you want to be free as you want to be. I can find a place in anything you design. If you were a rainbow, I'd love all your colors. I'd be an artist. All around the water town waiting for a train thousand miles away from home I'm sleeping oh, in the rain I walk up to the brain man to give him a line of talk He says if you've got money
Maybe that, maybe that speaker, Steve, point it so it's towards us, yeah, there we go. Uh, test, uh, test. Is this one up? Yeah. Is it set up? Yeah. Can you hear me? Too much bass. Yeah, let's, let's, a little more volume and uh, let's, let's work on the EQ. Test, test, test. Does it have any reverb too, Casey? Test, test. If we could get more volume and a smidge of reverb, test, test. Okay, that's sounding better for the for the EQ. But is is there reverb on that at all? All right. Test. I promise you, it's going to be worth it. Okay. Oh no, we don't want that. Test. What happened? Whoa. Test. Test, test. I think they're getting a little reverb with that. Test, test, test. Check, check, test. I have test, test, check. You kind of lost a little bit. Test, test, test. Well, we'll make that work. That'll work.
Good job, Blue. Thanks for the patience while we were figuring out the stuff that we didn't bring. We're going to do a little sound check uh, with a rumba tune and uh, uh, go from there. 
uh, Howard and the White Boys, if you know this band, the house band for House of Blues, uh, Buddy Giles, a uh, Buddy Mile uh, band up in, uh, but, oh, you know what I'm talking about, yes, up in Chicago. Yes, sir. Buddy Guy, that's what I'm talking about.
Switch over to a little tap and wah Cajun music.
time maybe for one more quick one here. Mr. Killing Floor there. We're going to kill our bass player with this one. Ah, close enough tune for cigar bots. They don't have to be in perfect tune, man. Otherwise, it wouldn't sound like cigar bots.
So I, uh, I do want to say we are simulcasting live. We are simulcasting live on two different YouTube channels, both of them through WRCT Television, White Rose Community Television. We are also broadcasting live on Channel 18 Comcast in New York. Uh, I want to thank WRCT for all their support they're doing for the Pennsylvania Cigar Box Guitar Fest. And hello to everyone watching online, on Facebook, on Cigar Box Nation, on YouTube. Welcome. My name is Shane Spiel, I'm your host, and we've got a lot more going on uh, for the indoor performance stage here. It's nice to be in here with all the fans and not baking in the sun for a bit. I do gotta, I do have to, God, what kind of English is that? I do have to mention our sponsors here, uh, CB Giddy Crafter Supply, cbgiddy.com. They are your one-stop shop for cigar box guitar parts accessories and everything you need for DIY instruments. Uh, in fact, uh, you guys here, I have discount cards. If you're here today, I have discount cards, 20% off anything at CB Giddy or for your entire order. Come and see me. Uh, I want to thank the York Water Company for their sponsorship, for Mr. Suit Records for sponsoring this stage here, for RSDC Construction, and I especially want to thank the York Emporium for putting on this festival nine years in a row. Hold on here. The York Emporium is going to have a grand reopening. They, as you can see, they are changing the entire store around. This is the greatest bookstore I've ever walked through in my life. I've spent many hundreds of dollars in here filling my basement with books. And uh, trust me, $100 is gonna get you a lot of books in this place. But the grand reopening here is first Friday in October, first Friday, in York, PA, we have big First Friday events all around town, but York Emporium is having their grand reopening here on First Friday, so make sure you're there for this. Uh, before I, uh, we got coming up next is the Frontier Dentists. After that, Roust and Chuck Austin will be on the stage, and then Caveman Dave. Outside right now is the punk rock sounds of the DIY Atronics. After them is the Agape Blues Company at 2 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, the J.P. Williams Blues Band. 4 p.m. is Johnny Stompbox and the Stompers. And 5 p.m. is James Day and the Fish Fry. Stuff going on all day long. There's one of our sponsors right there, Ben Giddy Baker. So enjoy the day. Walk around. Enjoy this beautiful bookstore. We are going to uh, let the next band get set up and... Uh, Thank you all for coming. Thank you. I got those coupons for you all watching. Thank you. 
Twin brothers, different parents. Thank you. 
Check one two one two one two. Check one two. Not the top of this man. You, how loud do you need your mic? I was just going to do announcements. Hey, maybe louder. Maybe maybe much louder. Uh, uh, how's that? Let's see. It's good for you, right? Probably good for me. Maybe. Maybe. A little bit more. I can back away if I'm too loud. The continent of Atlantis was an island which lay before the great flood. Uh, way down <laughs> In the region we know, now call the Atlantic Ocean. I think it'll be all right. <laughs> Though gods they were. <laughs> Again, I want to run through our sponsors real quick. First of all, we are broadcasting live from WRC-TV, White Rose Community Television. They are live on Channel 18 in Comcast, York. Uh, where they're also live. Both stages of the Pennsylvania Cigar Box Guitar Fest are live on YouTube, on Facebook, and on CigarBoxNation.com. Thank you to our sponsors, CBGiddy.com, York Water Company, Mr. Suit Records, RSDC Construction, and especially the York Emporium, which is about to celebrate their grand reopening here, first Friday in October here in downtown York. They are doing all these uh, incredible improvements to the, the greatest bookstore we've ever all walked through. Um, so congratulations to the York Emporium, and thank you so much for putting on this festival nine years in a row. So without further ado, please give it up. This is one of my favorite acts of this entire festival. Give it up for the Frontier Dentist, everyone. Yeah. Thank you all very, 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 very much. Uh, we're from Baltimore, and uh, we actually, uh, we're going to play some songs. Is that what we're doing? Yes. That's what we're doing. All right. I encourage you all to sing along. I, to tell you the truth, I'd rather, if anybody wants to come up here and sing instead of me, <laughs> that, that would be way better. Lee is um, he's a guy who normally sings most of the stuff, and in fact, he built some of these instruments. He built that, and the bass, and uh, this one's mine. Nora, you built that, right? <laughs> so, um, anyway, we're going to play some stuff for you. So, hope you dig.
Are you watching this online? Send us a sign. <laughs> Send us a sign, my brother. <laughs> anyway, so Lee built uh, the cool instruments that are up here, and um, and you know we're just we're just breaking them. That's the word. <laughs> this is the most functional thing I've ever seen on any musical instrument anywhere. The tailpiece of this is actually a very convenient bottle opener. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's been used every practice. <laughs> you forgot to put a bra on the mermaids, by the way. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> All right, friends. Let's, uh, let's, uh, here's something we hope you'll really like. Let's do this song. Ready? Sister, don't you? Speaking of fun, this is uh, 
I can't speak for the rest of the band. Everybody else has their own religious persuasions. I certainly do. I attend the Church of Link Ray. I don't know how many of you might, but uh, I'm, I'm a Rayist. So uh, we're going to play this. This is for um, anybody who's ever been in a knife fight. <laughs> yes? Right here, right here. All right. All right, here, this goes out to all of you, the good people of York. The good knife fighters of York. Yeah, bring a gun. What's that? Bring a gun. Hell with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> you bring a gun to a fight, that's, there's no challenge. I win, you lose. All right. The first record ever banned on popular radio, I believe. That's what this is. Okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. Facebook profile, which I've never been able to change, is actually, I used to be called Link Lally, it was like my stage name for a long time, and I've never actually changed it, so if you look under Link Lally on Facebook, you'll find me. I'm not really named Link, but I want to be. This is Nora, Nora, everybody, Nora. Finally, gonna switch to a guitar that's playable. <laughs> uh -oh. Actually, I saw Link Ray um, a couple of times before he died, and every time I saw him, he played Rumble. That's that song, Rumble. He played it not once, not twice, but three times <laughs> during a 45 minute set. <laughs> I mean, literally, through. I think he just forgot the second he died. He came out, yeah. That, I mean, that is rock and roll, you know? And they keep him out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That, my friends. Think about that. Yeah. Right. That's, I'm speechless, too. 
too much, too much banter. We only plan for a half an hour set, thus yeah. half an hour of banter. <laughs> <laughs> As we tune. Speaking of banter, I'd like to uh, put a plug in for, first of all, thanks Shane. Shane, I'm not sure where you went, but Shane's bill, thank you very much for all that you've done on behalf of the, uh, the DIY community. But um, I know there's, there's sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes I get depressed. This song kind of showcases that we all get a little depressed, and I, I certainly do, especially when I pop my keys in a microphone, that's what I hate the most. But um, whenever I get really, really depressed, sometimes I just go on YouTube, and I look for this clip that is, I'm not making this up, that is 45 minutes of Paul Stanley from KISS stage banter. <laughs> I'd actually say you should leave now and go watch it. Because it is like 45 minutes of, all right, all right. It's like over and over again, different cities. All right, Detroit. All right, Cleveland. It's, it's kind of like, whoever put it together, hero. Hero. Not all heroes wear capes, Nora. Like I've been telling you. All right, let's play this song. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. Cats. Cats, for example. I forgot. All right, here we go. This is a song with extra pathos. Sounds like a Johnny Cash song. It's not, but it was written by Johnny Cash's former son-in-law. Oh, well, there's a kind of man, but that you sometimes meet. Well, he's bringing him down on winged feet. He walks around with his senses numb. Well, if you know him, that's the kind of man that I've been. The kids all know him, cause when they play, he comes in shoes, them away. He's irritated by everyone. But if you know him, that's the kind of man that I love him. Friends he had, are so called. Well, they won't go to church. It's too loud for them now. It's weak singing of the choir. It ain't nothing but a row. It's hard to do when it once was a club. But if you know him, that's the kind of man that I've been loving. Take it, Sean.
But I'm also, also I believe in surf music. Anybody here believe in surf music? Yeah. Come on, be proud. I believe in surf music. I went to a surf. I, if you can imagine, there was a surf music festival in Baltimore a week ago. There were actually more bands than there were surf music fans. I think. <laughs> thing, but uh, it was pretty good. There were some great bands. Uh, Surfer Joe from Italy. You all know Surfer Joe from Italy. I would probably not. Uh, Le Agamemnon, surf band from France, who also nobody knows. There were the Flying Faders from Baltimore, who nobody knows. And there were the Volcanics from California, who nobody knows. So it was great. And then there was an audience that, about the number of bands members. But um, we believe in surf music. So here's a surf music standard for you that I think you're going to like. And I hope you, know, I hope you like the word. I hope you know the words to it. We don't. It's a single one. Right. It's kind of a actually no, you know what? Here, this is this will work. I, I challenge you to do this. It's no words. It's surf it's a surf instrumental for crying out loud. But meow along. Yeah. Yeah. Alright? Meow along. Trust me on this. Alright, here we go. Are you ready, Nora? Alright. Keith? Yes. John? Alright then, fellas. Wait. No, sorry, that's Baldwin Blitz. <laughs>
story. <laughs> Has that joke gotten old yet? Or funny? <laughs> Anybody here recently married? Anybody here married? Okay. Anybody here? Anybody here celebrating an anniversary? This is what we call the band relating to the audience. <laughs> De desperately. The song is called um, I Knew the Bride When She Used to Rock and Roll. It's kind of a fun, a fun little tune by uh, Nick Lowe, who is my father. He doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, me too. How did start? Good question. <laughs> Send that song out to my third wife. Fourth. No, I'm kidding. Only one, maybe two. Only one. But the, you know, the day is young, so I could get <laughs> I could get divorced and married. Anybody anybody single? No. Okay, so this song. Started up his drinking, and then they started fighting. 
cooking pretty badly. So she took both the kids. What a happy song. She said, I'm not standing by. Watch you slowly die. So what? You know what? Let's not do this song. I'm just, okay. Oh. Let's, I, no, no. The demographics have changed a little. This one's too sad. We're going to move on to the next song. So. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> See, we're the kind of band that can read an audience. You know, once the, once the average age drops down by a couple of years, this is a song that we're going to go uh, thank Keith, we're gonna go on to an even sadder song. Okay. I'm not joking. <laughs> you know what? We are going to do this song because we're not quitters. <laughs> All right, let's do this sadder song. Okay, here we go. This is a, a song by the late, great Sonny Bono. I'm sure you all know and love him. A great song. He gets a lot of people give him a lot of grief, and they say he's kind of a joke, but no, he's actually a great songwriter. Not such a great skier, as it turns out. Too soon? <laughs> joke over your head? <laughs> the tree went over your head. Never mind. So, um, here we go. It's been long enough. It's been long enough. Come on. <laughs> we can joke about this now. All right, here we go. One <laughs> of my all time favorite sad, sad, sad songs. But don't you feel sad? I was five and she was six Rode on horses made of sticks I wore black and she wore white She would always win the fight Bang, bang She shot me down, bang, bang I hit the ground, bang, bang Full sound, bang, bang My baby shot me down Season change came the time I grew up and called her mine. She would always laugh and say, Remember how we used to play? Bang, bang. I shot you down, bang, bang. You hit the ground, bang, bang. That awful sound, bang, bang. I used to shoot you down. church bells ring. Now she's gone, I don't know why. So this day some time I cry. She didn't even say goodbye. She didn't even mention why. Bang, bang. She shot me down. Bang, bang. I hit the ground. Bang, bang. That awful sound. Bang, bang. True story. <laughs> ending, on, ending on a minor six. You know, the minor six, a lot of people don't know this, the minor six is the saddest of all chords I, I, I've always found. Nora, yes? Yeah, thank you. Wait, do it again. Oh, man. <laughs> Instant tears. Actually, let me change the band name. Instant <laughs> tears. <laughs> Friends, we're, we're almost out of, out, of, out of time, out of songs, out of luck, so let's do this song. Now an even sadder song. Now, just, <laughs> it will be, uh, this, this song has like 3,000 words to it, and um, I know like three of them. Literally, I know the title of the song. So, Alright, we may need your help on this. Somebody should start this. Maybe me? Gee, the second saddest of all keys. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Right about the city, gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Yeah.
Nora, Sean, and uh, on behalf of Lee, our friend who could not be here this today, thanks all very much. Front door, Dennis Pimbola. Give it up for the Frontier Dentist, everyone. So the good news is the indoor stage was booked so that uh, there was a little extra time at the end of the day. We are kind of running 15, 20 minutes a little bit late on the indoor stage, but that's okay. The indoor stage is a little loosey-goosey, and we've got the time. Everybody's still going to get their time to perform. My name is Shane Spiel. I am your MC here, and uh, as usual... I've got to do our thank yous and shout outs to our sponsors. Thank you to cbgitty.com, cbgitty.com, your one stop shop for cigar box guitar parts, DIY instrument things, and everything else you need to have a good time playing music. Uh, thank you to the York Water Company, that good York Water. Thank you to Mr. Suit Records for sponsoring this indoor stage here again this year. I think they've been sponsoring it every single year that we've had this. RSDC Construction is another sponsor. And the almighty York Emporium Bookstore, our main sponsor, who has brought this festival in for nine years straight. Thank you to the York Emporium. They are going to have their, um, their grand reopening here on first Friday in October. As you can see, they're doing a lot of uh, different uh, construction and everything else. They're changing some things around. So the grand reopening is going to be in October on first Friday. Now, I am looking up here in the camera, not looking at you guys too, because see, we are also simulcasting live. We are simulcasting on WRCT-TV, White Rose Community Television in York, Pennsylvania, Channel 18 on Comcast. And we are, yes, and we are also simulcasting both stages live on YouTube, Facebook, and CigarBoxNation.com. So thank you for, to WRCT for giving all the professional sound, the professional video equipment. I mean, this ain't just an iPhone held up from the crowd. This is, this is some really good production here. So thank you to all the volunteers and all the helpers of WRCT. Uh, my name is Shane Spiel, and I uh, do want to take one minute to say that I've got a brand new book coming out called Making a Poor Man's Guitar. And it's all about building cigar box guitars, the history behind them, and, uh, you know, everything that, so much that I've learned, not everything, so much I've learned in the last 25 years of doing this. Uh, right in front of the table, there are information uh, on the brown card for how you can get an autographed uh, copy before anywhere in the world. Um, as soon as I get them, I'm autographing them and sending them out to fans, and each of those will have... Uh, extras in there, sticker, button, postcard. You get it all, poormansguitar.com, poormansguitar.com. Uh, so we are going to let the uh, Frontier Dennis get all their crazy equipment. I want that mermaid base. I, that mermaid base is the coolest thing. I was looking at it. It's got copper wire frets on there. The bridge on it is a door handle. If you look at that whole thing, that entire thing it captures all the essence of DIY music. It is just an, a fabulous piece of artwork. And even the guitar that he was playing here, if you look at it close, all the artwork on there, there's these saints, and then there's a picture of Hank Williams in there, which is perfect. So that's, I... Also a saint. Also a saint. Well, there goes the cord. Come on. Uh-oh. So outside is the Agape Blues Company. I, I do need to make a mention of the Agape Blues Company. They are a gospel blues band, and tomorrow morning, they are going to have a cigar box guitar church service a half a block away at Union Lutheran Church, 9.30 a.m. Uh, we started the cigar box guitar church a couple years ago with blues legend Glenn Kaiser, who was in here playing the festival. And the Agape Blues Company has taken that over. So tomorrow morning at 9.30, uh, I bet you've never gone to a cigar box guitar church. And so that, that's still, you know, it's a whole, a whole weekend of events here. Uh, up next, we're going to get Roust and Chuck Austin up here. And uh, he's from out near Pittsburgh. And this man also hangs out at my daddy's bar. At Spiel's Tavern in New Alexandria, Pennsylvania, the home of the Cigar Box Guitar Museum. And my dad remember him calling me up. 
He's like, Shane, you got you got you got to hear this guy I came into the bar and he was playing a cigar box guitar and he was ripping it up. And he, I think that night, I think he held his phone up so that he could film you play because he went nuts over you. And so, you know, they always hanging out together and, and, and Chuck's got, a, you know, a whole crowd of cigar box guitar aficionados and they just go to these festivals and all around. You, you do a lot of shows out there too. Um, and it's it's a real pleasure to have you. So we're gonna let you get set up. I'm not gonna rush you. You get your get your stuff set up. But uh, I'm gonna let him get set up. I'm gonna check on the other stage. But we got Ralston Chuck House in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania coming up next. We're near the psychedelic the psychedelic streamer. <laughs> And it looks like Chuck has CDs for sale, too. So if you want to support any of, the, any of these artists, make sure you pick up a CD. It'll be good music to listen to on the way home, too. I'll let you do your thing. I guess we could call this crowd the diehards. <laughs> so anyway, I've got two CDs. I uh, participated a little earlier with Ben out, uh, Bus Car Ben, out on the uh, out on the main stage where he did uh, some train songs. Well, two years ago, I put out a complete CD of train songs. They're all train songs. So here it is, it's called Blue Steel Blues. I've got those. And then back in, uh, this has just been reissued. We gotta get Jane back up here to fix this microphone. This is really unacceptable. <laughs> Highway, down Highway 61, this was recorded at the legendary Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee, where Elvis, Howlin' Wolf, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, all those guys recorded. So, uh, With that stand. So anyway, if you're interested in seeing me, they're ten bucks a piece. They will give you hours of enjoyment or terror, depending on your point of view. Move a little closer. 
thing about cigar box guitars, you don't have to play trick. You don't have to play traditional music on them. You can play stuff like this. So you can play kiss songs on one. really do that. This is a song that goes back to Ireland about 1700. If you were convicted of a crime in Ireland, any crime but murder, if you were convicted of a crime, your family could pay a ransom. They could pay a fine and save you from being hanged on the gallows. So that's what this song's about. Now, I learned it from a record by some guys named Kerner Ray and Glover out in Minneapolis in the 60s. They learned it from a love belly record, so it's been around a long time. But the moral of the story is that true love wins in the end, and this is how it goes. Well, hangman, hangman, slap the rope, slack it up a while. We can see my mother coming, riding many miles, she's a riding many miles. Come didn't bring me any gold. How did you come to see me hanging from my gallows pole? Yeah, from my gallows pole. I didn't bring you no silver sun. Didn't bring you no gold. Don't you know what two dollar pole is from gallows pole? From gallows pole.
lot of traditional songs, but also occasionally I've been inspired to write something. And this next song I wrote back in 1991, I was inspired by the titles of some books, and I think it's real interesting, we're in a bookstore right now. But Earl Stanley Gardner, who created the character of Perry Mason, also wrote under a pseudonym, A.A. A. Fair. And as A.A. A. Fair, he wrote these detective novels, and they had unusual titles. And I took four of the titles and made a song. The song uh, is made up of Cats Prowl at Night, Bats Fly at Dusk, Crows Can't Count, and Owls Don't Blink. And then I made up a verse called A Snake's Crawl at Night. So maybe you live in a neighborhood where the snakes crawl at night too. But this is it, Cats Prowl at Night. Screamer was built by Rob Roble from Florida, 
I saw it on eBay, and it was 75 bucks. And I thought, I gotta have this. Because I grew up in the 60s, you know. There's the volume. So anyway, I just thought, I gotta have this. And it came in the mail, and I got it home, and I plugged it in, and it was a scream. So anyway, this song is 90 years old. How many songs do you know that are 90 years old? Well, you might know a lot if you're a folklorist or do you study uh, traditional music. This one is uh, 90 years old this year. It was recorded in 1928 by a African-American songster by the name of Blind Lemon Jefferson. Now, he didn't call himself Blind Lemon. The record company called him that because he was born blind. And um, I heard a story one time, and I don't know if the story's true, but I, I always tell the story anyway, just, you know. It's a little bit of American folklore, Americana, so. Story is told, uh, there was an interviewer who was interviewing his mother for an article in a black newspaper at that time. And the question was, why did you name your son Lemon? And her answer was, well, when he was born, his head looked like a lemon. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's true or not, but anyway, he became known in the annals of blues history as Blind Lemon Jefferson. And he not only sang uh, blues, but he also sang some spirituals. And this one's a spiritual called, See That My Grave Is Kept Clean. I don't know if it's the humidity or the humanity here, but my guitar keeps going out of tune, but anyway. Now, 90 years ago, that was not 
the only record Blind Lemon Jefferson had. But what's interesting is the other song that was a big hit for him was later recorded in the 1950s by uh, Carl Perkins on the Sun label, right? The same studio where I recorded my album back in 2004. Well, it's four guys from England named John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison also recorded Blind Lemon Jefferson song. And it's one of the few songs that Ringo actually sang on. And this is it, it's called Matchbox. I'm sitting here warm, matchbox for my clothes. I'm sitting here warm, with a matchbox for my clothes. I ain't got no matches and I feel that long way to go. train songs for my dad. My dad hoboed during the 1930s and he would tell me stories about it, tell me how uh, you would take your jacket and roll it up and make a pillow out of it if you were sleeping on a boxcar floor. One of the things also that, that some fellas did that was, were able to was they always took uh, kind of a bedroll with a clean shirt and pair of pants in it so that when they got off in some town, jumped off the boxcar, then they would go somewhere in the woods, change clothes, and come into town looking like they were normal citizens and not be picked up by the police. Well, my dad um, used to catch freights over in the Pitcairn Yard near Pittsburgh, and he got caught. And they hauled him into court, and uh, the judge said, well, since this is your first offense, we're not going to prosecute you. We're going to put you on probation for a year. However, if you are ever caught on the Pennsylvania Railroad freight train again, you're going to jail. We've written your name down. We put it on a list. And that's sent to railroads all over the country. So my dad decided his hobo days were over. And he wasn't going to do it anymore. But this is a song he used to sing. This is based on a true incident that happened in 
September of 1903, a train from Washington, D.C. to Lynchburg, Virginia, crossing White Oak Mountain, jumped the track, and everyone on board was killed. The song was called The Wreck of the Old 97. And my dad used to sing this, and it's based on a, on a true story. Johnny Cash recorded this, among other people, but uh, I heard it first when I was little, literally knee-high to a grasshopper. So anyway, this is how it goes. I gotta get the Johnny Cash beat going here. Well, it got his own road, but in this same beat, we're way behind time. This is not 38, so 97, and we'll put her in. a teenager, my dad said, they stole that song. <laughs> All right. Something that I used to do way back. I recorded an album in 1975 called Night Isle Blues. It was all, it was a lot of old country blues songs. And when I recorded that album, uh, I was... I did some Jimmy Rogers songs. Now, there's two Jimmy Rogers. There's Jimmy Rogers, the rockabilly singer who sang Honeycomb and songs like that in the 50s. But the Jimmy Rogers I'm talking about is the Jimmy Rogers from the 1920s, who is considered to be not only the father of country music, but also the um, father of white blues. He was the first white blues singer to receive any kind of acclamation and uh, and uh, kind of notoriety. Well, he did a song, and he yodeled on his song. They called him uh, America's Blue Yodeler, and he yodeled on these songs. Well, I tried that back in the 70s, and you know what? That was considered to be so cornball. You know, I, I had people actually get up and walk out when I was yodeling a song. <laughs> so, but in the last few years, I've kind of resurrected this one song and yodel on it, and I found out that people don't go screaming through the door anymore, because it's just kind of this quaint, you know, Americana thing. So, uh... Sorry. 
So this is the Mule Skinner Blues. Good morning, Captain. Good morning, son. Do you need another Mule Skinner? Down on your new wood line. Good name. This is CB Giddy guitar that I just recently purchased. They're one of the sponsors, so that's a little free commercial for those guys because they do a great job. Jimmy Rogers blues song. So I'm going to do one first from the CD here, Blue Steel Blues, called The Brakeman's Blues. <laughs> Oh, 
about the evils of gambling. I had to hear my mother and my grandmother tell me stories about the evils of my grandfather gambling. My grandfather was this big guy. He was just, he really, uh, he was a carpenter, uh, worked with his hands, but he loved to gamble. And on one particular instant, he took the train from McKeesport, Pennsylvania, up to Mercer, Pennsylvania, up near Erie. There was a big floating card game going on, and he wanted to get in on it. So he took all his money, he bought the train tickets, one up and one back, and he went up there, and as was the case usually, he lost all his money. Well then, he bet his train ticket, and he lost that. And I don't know what he was thinking, but maybe he thought, well, I can get out along the road and hitchhike and get a ride back to McKeesport. Four days later, he showed up. He walked from Mercer to McKeesport, and my grandmother was there waiting for him, and she said, she said, you know, you better quit that gambling, because this is, if this happened to you this time, just imagine what might happen to you next time. So... I heard this story my whole life, so I thought I would share it with you today. 
Anyway, black dog. Well, they call me a dog when I'm gone now, honey. Black dog when I'm gone. But when I come around with that hundred dollar bill, it's funny where you've been so long. But if I see my old deal go down, you know I catch me no freight train. Call me a dog when I'm gone, I'll run a black dog when I'm gone. I will come around with that hundred dollar bill. It's funny where you've been so long. in 1963 in uh, Kentucky. I was attending college there. I grew up on, uh, besides the songs my dad sung, his hobo and hillbilly songs, uh, I was uh, a child of the 50s. I listened to all that doo-wop stuff, you know, that, uh, that uh, slow dance music, you know, like Angel Baby and uh, things like that. Well, I get down to Kentucky and uh, they didn't play this stuff on the radio down there. They played a lot of the traditional music that I'd never heard before. So I learned a lot of music while I lived there. I was there eight and a half years, five years in college, and then I lived in Lexington uh, during the hippie year. And so uh, I saw all the changes that went on at that time. But this traditional music was really with me and the one song that I learned uh, that I still do was by this group. If you were outside and saw me sitting with the uh, boxcar uh, band out there, uh, my version of uh, the uh, Wabash Cannonball, which I learned from uh, this band, the Knoblick Upper 10,000. Uh, Knoblick is a town in, in central Kentucky. Upper 10,000 is a literal, an alliteration or the literal translation of two German words meaning upper crust or, or people on the, uh, you know, the higher echelons of society. So these people consider themselves the upper crust of Knoblick. Knoblick is like a spot in the road. And so it was kind of an in joke. And the band made two albums, and this is one of them. It's an old Kentucky murder ballad called The Cuckoo. And uh, there's probably 150 different versions of this, but it's, uh, 
it's another song of that time and that place.
you're incredible. Rouse and Chuck Austin, everyone. Yeah. So we're gonna get something set up. We got Caveman Dave coming up next. Of course, I gotta do my little announcements for people just tuning in online and on YouTube and on WRCT Community Access Channel 18 Comcast. We want to thank WRCT for simulcasting both stages here. Uh, Everybody's talking to Chuck. I'm going to let you guys talk to Chuck. Ignore me. I'm talking to the camera for a bit, and that way you guys can buy as many CDs as possible. Um, my name is Shane Spill. I am your host, uh, or I am your MC, and uh, I want to thank the following sponsors for making the ninth annual Pennsylvania Cigar Box Guitar Festival uh, a possibility, and first of all, thank you to cbgitty.com, cbgitty.com, your home for cigar box guitar parts, instruments, and all kind of DIY music stuff. So check out cbgitty.com. I want to thank the York Water Company, that good York Water, for being a, a gracious sponsor, for Mr. Suit Records for sponsoring the indoor stage here. I want to thank RSDC Construction, and most importantly, I want to thank the York Emporium Bookstore, where we're holding this entire event. The York Emporium Bookstore in downtown York here, they're about to have their, their grand reopening. There's all kind of changes in here, uh, the new shelves, everything is just magnificent what they're doing to this bookstore. Um, and so there's going to be a grand reopening, which will be first Friday, October 2018. First Friday, October, here at York Emporium Bookstore. Quite honestly, this is probably the greatest bookstore you'll ever walk through. All used books, all great discoveries. So, my name is Shane Spill. I am the author of the book, Making, po Making Poor Man's Guitars, coming out very soon in the next month on Fox Chapel Publishing. Uh, you can get advanced copies at poormansguitar.com. Uh, and uh, there's so much happening outside on the main stage. We've got the J.P. Williams Blues Band. After that, we're going to have James Day and the Front Porch Stompers. And then after that, we got Johnny Stompbox and the Stompers performing. So much happening all day long here at the York Emporium. And then Sunday morning, Sunday morning, the Cigar Box Guitar Church Service at Union Lutheran Church, just a half a block away from the York Emporium. 9.30 a.m., Cigar Box Guitar Church Service, led by uh, the Agape Blues Company. So do not miss that. Uh, there's so much magic going on here. If you're watching on TV and you're in the New York area, get down. There's still more time for more music. The parking lot is filled with cigar box guitar vendors. There is even a guy doing Civil War tin-type photography. And I just watched Ben Giddy Baker from CB Giddy get his photo done on an 1890 tin-type camera. And the photo looks like it is straight out of the history books. And from what I understand, Gus and Huck from the Pennsylvania Alley Cats are about to get their Civil War photo done now, too, with old cigar box instruments. So come on down. We are just having a blast here. We got Caveman Dave coming up next. And uh, my name is Shane Spiel. Thank you so much for watching online. Hello to everybody on Facebook. Hello to everybody at Cigar Box Nation and on YouTube as well. Good to see you guys. Keep watching. There's so much more. If you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on Facebook, share this on your timeline right now. Share it on your timeline and share it on every music group you subscribe to because it's just going to spread the word about this festival and these awesome instruments. So thank you for watching. I kind of obligated to stay here because you didn't have any people to talk to. Oh, no. No, you're fine. Everybody walks in front. We're, we're gonna head back. It was good to see you. You too. Thank Love you guys. You for everything you do here. Because I'm tired. I can't arrive at 9 o'clock. I didn't know who we an Uber. Pay $3,000. That's part of it. Yeah, I mean, I, you want to drive? I didn't see a guy over there. No, I tried to. I see you picking one up. I think I'm going to get another hotel. I can also bring it.
played Philadelphia last night. It was down in Center City. My brother lives in New York. Okay. How about you? Are you from here? I live in New York, yeah. Okay. How long have you lived here? Well, most of my life is like when I did very grateful. I lived in Florida. I like that answer. Yeah. Yeah, what part of Florida? I've been in and out there. Key West, Tampa, and Orlando. Thank you. 
One, two. Check one, two. Check one, two.
Watching the ninth annual uh, cigar box festival here at the York Emporium in York, Pennsylvania. Uh, up next, we've got Cape Man Dave. Hi. Thanks for having me here. Uh, I have a exciting moment of the Cape Man Dave show. Is uh, part of part of the performance is getting into the costume. So. Can have a drum roll, please, from the audience? We're trying. Caveman? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I'm a looper, so I build things, and then I pick up the, the uh, for this song anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the, with the guitar here.
Briggs by Caveman to give you a minute here. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. See, what happens is... my sound check. Let me be, let me be 
a salty
to Flat Earth Strokes. I was listening to uh, a lot of JJ Cal and, and Leon Leon Russell this winter, so I uh, gave it a more of that kind of a style. I'm gonna switch up and go to this other one I got. I told my dad that when I grow up I want to be a mus musician, and he said, son, you can't be both. So I built these two cigar boxes in Northern California. I started uh, last winter and I finished it up this winter, so. I've been playing guitar longer than cigar box, that's for sure. So I'm still, uh, still learning on the whole process of building these. I'm building a uh, back home for a few weeks and I'm working in my dad's shop with him. And we are building a six string guitar, which should be great since I could just, um, like I said, I'm better at guitarist than learning these new instruments. It's like learning a new language almost. Or something. So when I was a kid, uh, my dad would come in on the first day of school and start strumming my guitar. He didn't really know how to play. He would just be like... And start singing these songs to kind of like get us, get us up for school. And uh, one of the songs that he would sing would, was this song, uh, this next song. And uh, if you know it, if you know the chorus, uh, feel free to, to sing along the chorus. That would be exquisite. I usually have a, a music stand, but I, I did not bring that, and I guess it's a weird player. The air is so pure, and the 
is ever so free. The breeze is so balmy and light that I would not be my home on the range for all the city. Seldom is heard a discouraging word in the skies about cloudy all day. How often at night, when the heavens so bright with the light of the glittering stars, I stand. As I gaze, does the glory exceed that of ours? Home on the range, the deer, the antelope play. Seldom is heard a discouraging word. That was one of those songs from the Pete Seeger approved uh, sing out book. I think it's the, was it the Rise Up Singing. Are you familiar with that song book? It's a collection of all these old traditional songs. I thought about I thought about showing up wearing a suit today since it was Mr. Suit stage, but uh, and I, I even grabbed it before I left, but then I was like, no, it's it's, too, it's way too high. I don't know, so. Glad that I opted just for my my normal caveman vest. Um, it's a pedo approved animal print. I do have a, another song that requires a little bit of audience participation, and uh, all you have to do for this one. All you have to do for this one is meow. <laughs> look at this cool rock I got. Does it look like me? This rocks. traveling song. Done a good deal of traveling over the last five years. I went uh, all over this great nation of ours, except North Dakota, Florida, and Hawaii. So uh, a couple years ago, I got back to Pennsylvania, and uh, a bunch of my friends had all moved into this 18-acre farmhouse, and there was a dogs, three cats, a couple of hippies. It was a big farm, so I planted over 150 sunflower seeds, and they were mammoth. They got pretty big. But then I left the farm and they took pictures of it, which made me happy. That was nice to see them. So one of the cats on there was the Hobo Kitty. Because my, uh, my buddy's sister had found this cat down in uh, Tennessee. We all called the cat, well, some called it Black Kitty, but we called it the Hobo Kitty. There was a gray one, there was an orange one, or orange one and then there was the black one, the Hobo Kitty. Actually, kind of uh, white in the in the, the the neck a little bit too. It's black and white. That's that's right. All you have to do for this one is meow. Can you all meow? Yeah. It goes like this. <laughs> oh, hobo kitty. Meow. 
Meow. Hobo kitty. Meow. Three times. Hobo kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Hobo kitty. Meow. Hobo kitty. Meow. Hobo kitty. Meow. Hobo kitty. Meow, 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 meow. You guys got that? Yeah. Should we try it again before I get into the song? Let's try it again. That's our little team to do. Let's do it one more time. All hobo kitty. Hobo kitty. Three times. Hobo kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Hobo kitty. Meow. Hobo kitty. Meow. Hobo kitty. Meow. Hobo kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Living outside a soup kitchen down in Chattanooga, Tennessee. She was just a bag of bones. Allie cat long before she met you and me. She's a black and white kitty cat who was missing a patch of fur. So here's a tale that will tell the tale so everyone will know about her. Now here we go. Oh, oh, oh kitty. Hobo kitty, hobo kitty, hobo kitty, hobo kitty, hobo kitty, hobo kitty, meow 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 meow. Oh, hobo kitty was probably hopping railroad cars with Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger back in 1944. She usually doesn't want to be petted unless she got food she wants out of it. Though she meows when she wants to get out the door. Quiet cat usually keeps to herself, but sometimes I wake up with her lying on my arm. Oh, she lived a gypsy life, never became a wife. Now she's loving life here on this farm. All right, now here we go now. Oh, oh, kitty. Oh, oh, kitty. Oh, oh, kitty. making food, she's always there to beg for it. And guess what she learned in the soup kitchen? Oh, if this cat could speak, think of all the things that she could teach, all the stories from when she was a kitten. Though she's older now, she's still frisky, sometimes as fast as a shot of whiskey, other times she's sleeping in the shade. Oh, I'm sure that she's had many names, played all kinds of kitty games with all the friends she has made. All right, now here we go, nice and hot. Oh, Hobo Kitty. Hobo Kitty. Hobo Kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Hobo Kitty. Hobo Kitty. Hobo Kitty. Hobo Kitty.
that's an original song I wrote called Cigar Box Blues. Thank you. That's on my CD, which I have. I also have some activity books that have word searches and coloring pages and the like. <laughs> So I think we have some senior. So yeah, I'm Caveman Dave from Philadelphia. I have uh, a bunch of CDs and stuff. Uh, 
music online you can check out. I also have some cartoons. I'm an animator, so I make cartoons and things like that in the wintertime. And in the wintertime, it's also fun to build these cigar box guitars. It's a, been a hobby of mine the last two winters. And, uh, yeah, so check, check it out online. You can listen for free. You can download if you want. Um, and all right, here's another song.
keep on <coughs> CDs and coloring books, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera.
the mountains And I love the sea I love the people And all the places That I see Virginia, it's it's oh wait, it's in a bag in the back here, but yeah, I have CDs. Uh, let me know if you're interested. Those off coloring pages.
I'll, I guess I'll do one more song and then uh, I'm the last act up here. <laughs> well, you know, I'll just keep playing. <laughs> I, have, I have that problem. I'll just keep playing. So I gotta... <laughs> the lights go out. The lights go Kumbaya. So I started Caveman Day back in 2013. I started writing ch uh, children's folk music. And then after that, I started uh, playing uh, in all kinds of different places, including the Philadelphia Folk Festival. And then I just got back from the West Coast out there. I did the Oregon Country Fair and the Northwest String Summit and a bunch of breweries and different places all throughout the country. I also did a lot of farmer's markets because uh, farmer's markets are a fun time to play. They got fresh produce and such. So with my folky roots, I uh, do some of these old traditional songs. And when I play the preschools, it's, uh, it's fun to sing this one. And uh, one of the preschool teachers sent me this article about uh, this song and how when you sing it for the kids, you only sing the first three verses. But uh, I like to sing all the verses for this one. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. As I went walking that ribbon of highway, I saw below me the endless skyway. I saw below me that golden valley. Oh, this land was made for you and me. Sing along, folks. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. I've roamed and rambled when I followed my footsteps to sparkling sands of the diamond deserts. And all around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. When the sun came shining and I was strolling, spot where we filled waving, the fog was lifting, the voice was chanting. This land was made for you and me. Your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Now these are the uh, these are the verses I was told not to sing in the preschools. <laughs> now as I went walking, I saw a sign there, and on that sign said, "No trespassing." But on that other side, it didn't say nothing. That side was made for you and me. Everyone else. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. In the shadow of the steeple. I saw my people by the relief office. I see my people stood there hungry, stood there asking, Is this land still made for you and me? This land is your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Nobody living can ever stop me. As I go walking that freedom highway, nobody living can ever make me turn back. Cause this land was made for you and me. One more time and see if we get everyone to sing nice and loud. Thank you. 
Center Box Festival and uh, your Emporium and CB Giddy and everyone here today. Keep uh, keep keep playing and dreaming.